We got a very interesting question from Raymond. Yes, we did. A four-part question. This mm -hmm. man wants yes. to know all things pussy. Smart man. Very smart man. Yes. Find out. But here's what he was thinking. He wanted to have answers to these questions so that when he was with a woman, he would seem like he was very sophisticated and he didn't have to ask anything. He would know it all. You always have to ask. And every the, pussy's different. You, you can't always have exactly. To you can't just lay out one thing that, that applies to all women. There are general women. rules, general rules, but there's a lot of deviation. So the first one he wanted to know was he said, "Is it um, the G spot?" He was saying, "So the only area inside a woman's vagina that's sensitive is two and a half to three inches in." Oh, is yeah, is that the and place? you curl your fingers? He's no, like, he is that the only one. He didn't say that. He just wanted to know if the first two or three inches was the most sensitive part of the vagina. Yes, and well, not for all women, and not consistently. And some women would prefer you to be all the way in, going into the back wall. Well, there is that deep spot that yeah. some women like that's all the yeah. way in. Yeah, so my thing is ask. Ask her what she likes. And if she says, I don't know, then you get to play a game of let's see. Is there one area of a woman's vulva that it always works? The clitoris. Oh, <laughs> wow. There we go. There you go, Raymond. It's the clitoris. I tell you, it, it's very <laughs> consistent. Now, how you deal with it is not consistent. If it's yes. a woman who has not masturbated and she has a virgin it's clitoris. It's going to be hypersensitive. The other thing is to keep to keep the area very wet, moist. Lubrication. Yeah, a lot of lubrication. And to be very gentle with it, gentle. Now, if she wants more sensation... It, see, if it's a young woman, she's not going to pull your pull, pull your head down like on it. Like we do. <laughs> um, and also that we've had a lot of action. It's a woman who's had a lot of action on her clitoris is going to want more stimulation. Mm -hmm. A woman who has a virginal clitoris will want very little stimulation because she's never touched it. Exactly. Oh, I you need know. to break it in in a way. Very gently, very gently. And then he wanted to know... If all women love rough sex, and how come if they love it, they can't tell men that they want rough sex? Uh, you know, <laughs> personally, I don't like rough sex. And I think what that is... is they women like to feel wanted. So if you're desired. passionate and you jump them and you throw them on the bed... No. That's what most young women want because it's like, oh, I'm really desirable. Well... When they, get, when they get further into their sexuality, they will find that slow and sweet is by far the best. But in the meantime, once again, I think I said to him, and my answer is, ask her. Do you like it rough? Yeah. And I think that comes from porn. And I think very few women like it that way. Very few. And I certainly wouldn't go into, oh, so what is, what is rough sex? Banging into the pussy as hard as you can? Or how you're grabbing someone, Holding her know. down? So I said, that sounds like SM. And if it's going to be SM, then the two people have to discuss it. Exactly. Be very clear and have their limits stated. A safe word, yes. What is your sexual boundary? No one talks about that. Where's the line? Yeah. yeah and this is What's what I won't do? And this is what I want to do? This is what I And this I is like. what I'm kind of interested in? And there's no yeah. way I'm doing this. There is no, there is no <laughs> sexual dialogue between young people. And the That's women the are the last ones to get their mouths open. That was my problem. It was my problem. In my 20s? Oh. Well, I don't think oh. you even know what you want yet. You're kind of just experimenting Well, still. I knew how I wanted my clit handle. So why couldn't you say it? I couldn't. I, it was not... <laughs> I couldn't get my mouth open until finally one time I just said, you're doing it too hard. And I went, <laughs> it came out all nasty. Then I said, I'm sorry I raised my voice, but <laughs> but that's because I held it in for so long. And you, you're finally letting it out. Goes, Boom. It's, so it's you out. can imagine how empowering it is when you can actually tell someone what you want. Oh, extremely. Instead of thinking it's showing that you're ignorant about sex, asking someone what they like makes you more sophisticated than any other guy. Go for it.